What's going on traders? Welcome back to Gorilla Futures. My name is Patrick and thank you for watching. Today is part three of our three part series on what are futures and kind of the basics to futures. Today's video is all about kind of price action. What is price action? How to read price action? why you should use price action and just a few very basic simples. Now, before we get started, be sure to click that link right up above in that right hand corner, become a Gorilla Futures member and get access to all this information from finding trends, when, where, how to enter, trading bullish, bearish, and tons and tons of other information. Now, before we get started, be sure to comment down below if you like this series. If you did, we're definitely considered doing some more. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification so you can stay up to date for all of our videos. Now, without further ado, let's check out that video and get started. What's going on, traders? Thank you for tuning in for part three of this three-part series all about futures trading 101. Today, we are going to mainly focus on price action, so let's dive in. First off, what is price action? Well, price action is a method of billable no negotiation, excuse me, in the analysis of the basic movements of the price to generate signals of entry and exit in trades and that stand out for its reliability and not for requiring the use of indicators. So that sounds extremely, extremely complicated, uh, but that is the textbook definition. The easiest way to look at price action, it's simply how price moves on a chart from A to B. Traders then look for these areas of either support and resistance, and they can either get long or short from those areas. They're able to kind of build up signals that they can look for and use for both bullish trades, bullish trends, and bearish trades and bearish trends as well. I'm sure if you watch any of our other videos on this channel, you have seen all the signals that we use um, and if you are a Gorilla Futures member then you really know how to actually use those signals because don't forget yes we do put out a ton of information on YouTube and we are glad to do so but there's also a ton of information that is available only in the course on those signals so think about that as well if you are thinking about becoming a member but let's break this down a little bit more and again this is just the basics on bullish and bearish trends uh, there is a lot more information and not to throw in the upsell or the plug but again all that information is available in our course so kind of the basic bullish trends is price making higher highs and higher lows if it is then most likely uh, price is moving up we can indicate that that is increasing in price or price is moving up and traders who are looking to get long ideally look to get long off of these higher lows higher lows are also a kind of a sign of support and we can see that we have two higher highs and that last one there off to the right is supposed to be a higher low that is my mistake. I hope that that does make sense. We have a higher high, higher low, higher high, and then we have another higher low. Also, it is kind of called that stair step pattern. You can also think of it as walking upstairs and walking downstairs. So the step that you're currently standing on would be your higher low, and then the step when you take one step up would be your higher high. That stair step um, kind of pattern or... Um, display or whatever you want to call it is kind of what I like to use and what I kind of look at when I'm looking for these bullish and bearish trends. So kind of a quick glance of a bullish trend. This right here is the ES Futures weekly chart. We can see that price has been moving up for a period of time. Then unfortunately we got smacked in the face with the COVID pandemic and we had about four weeks of um, negative price action or uh, kind of a, a bearish trend, I would say, where we essentially just sold off extremely fast. And then you can see after that that we have been moving up. And we will talk about this in kind of the upcoming slides about kind of support and resistance. But first, you really need to I, understand what is a bullish trend. And a bullish trend is simply when price is increasing, making higher highs, and making higher lows. And as the old saying goes, the trend is your friend. If we are currently in a bullish trend, then it'd be much smarter to kind of follow that trend than try to simply stop 
that trend with your orders because let's be honest that's not going to happen and especially if you're a retail trader then you simply need to kind of ride the coattails of these larger banks trends uh, hedge funds firms and all that fun stuff next up is our bearish trend so essentially a bearish trend is the opposite of a bullish trend so instead of stair stepping up we are stair stepping down that means that price is making lower lows and lower highs and that is normally a signal of bearish movement uh, this pretty much indicates that price is decreasing um, and it is a great opportunity normally to take shorts traders then look for these lower highs aka resistance levels to get short in a perfect world we always get short off of resistance levels in a bearish trend and I do want to kind of highlight that throw some big air quotes up next to that because we can have these kind of moves in both bullish and bearish trends so it's always smart to line up the bearish price action with the bearish trend and go with the overall flow um, if you have been watching these videos for a while and if you're a Gorilla Futures member, you know that I talk about that top-down analysis, and that's really what I'm talking about. Try to put as many of these uh, kind of time frames in your favor. But here off to the right, we can see our uh, chart is making lower lows and lower highs as we stair step down. So the stair step analogy, if we're currently standing on the stairs, the next step we take down would be a lower low, and then another lower low, and so forth. If we stepped up one that would be a lower high so I hope that does make sense um, and again I really like to use that stair step analogy it really is kind of what resonates with me and here is an example of a bearish trend this right here is the Russell 2000 hourly chart you can see that for the past few days we have been moving down uh, this is a multi-day bearish trend so if price is making lower lows and lower highs what do you think you would do well ideally I'm looking for shorts I actually took a handful of shorts um, and you will see those trades here in the coming videos as well but price is making lower lows and lower highs but more specifically take just a moment before we move on and see if you can pick a few places where you ideally would like to enter now it is much easier to go back and cherry pick these trades rather than looking at kind of the the hard right edge but if you are a newer trader then you really need to first grasp the idea of what you would have done and then you can apply that to what you will do in the future so I'm gonna give you just a second look this chart over see if you can find exactly where you would like to enter and then we can go from there so I hope you did have an idea on where you would like to enter and ideally you would be entering off of those lower highs aka resistance levels that brings us to our next topic and that is support and resistance again textbook definition can be a little confusing but I think it's important that everyone does know kind of that textbook definition support and resistance are certain predetermined levels of the price of a security at which it is thought that the price will tend to stop and reverse um, one thing I do not like about that definition even though that is the textbook definition is just because price is at a support or resistance level either in a bullish or a bearish trend that does not mean that we are automatically going to kind of flip around and reverse or continue the signal is kind of the third part to our um, to our rules to enter again those of you who are Gorilla Futures members will know exactly what I'm talking about just because we have a level of either support or resistance we don't want to enter in just because we have a bearish trend doesn't mean we want to automatically start taking shorts we need a handful of items and that is trend that is uh, are we having the correct market structure are we making higher highs and higher lows and lastly do we get our kind of our confirmation signal if you don't have all three of those then you should probably skip or at least follow your rules and go from there again the gorilla futures definition of support and resistance is the support is currently the floor you are sitting or standing on at the moment and the resistance is the ceiling that is kind of keeping you in the room so take for example price will stand on the floor and make a move to the ceiling in a bullish trend so we are essentially finding support and then we move up to that ceiling and we're in and we run into resistance 
and then kind of the opposite is true for a bearish trend. In a bearish trend, price will normally bounce off the ceiling, aka resistance, and then move down to the floor, aka the support. So I hope that does make sense. I know support and resistance can be a little tricky for some traders, especially new traders, because everyone has a different way of explaining it. But for me, and what kind of resonates for me, think about the floor and the ceiling. So kind of a, another example, and here is our Russell 2000 chart that we saw just a moment ago. We can see that support is in the green and resistance is in the red. So we are kind of stair-stepping down. We're making our lower lows and lower highs. And we can see with those lower lows, we normally run into support, and then we rally back up. Resistance, we run into that resistance, and then we start to sell off or move back down. Now, one of the things I said a moment ago, we don't want to blindly buy or sell these support levels. We want to line everything up with the overall trend. So since we're moving down in this case, I personally, since I am not a counter trend trader, would look to take signals and trades in line with this trend. If we've been moving down for what's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days, it would probably be smart to follow that trend and take some short positions. So if you aren't a counter trend trader, I really recommend that you do follow the trend. Again, the trend is your friend. But if you're a counter trend trader, then by all means, go wild and buy and sell anything that you like. And then kind of the flip here is a bullish trend. This is our futures, our excuse me, our ES futures weekly chart. And we can see support is in the green and resistance is in the red. Now we can see we pretty much had that stair step pattern moving up up until last year where we ran into COVID, unfortunately, and we had that uh, multi-week sell-off. But since then, we've been making higher highs, higher lows. Our supports, our support levels are getting higher and higher, and our resistance levels, aka higher highs, are getting higher and higher as well. So in this example, price has been moving up for a pretty long time. Why would I then look to take any short positions or at least any long-term short positions off the weekly chart? Ideally, again, the trend is your friend. Be sure to follow the trend at all times if you can. And then lastly, before we start looking at some examples, why price action? Well, it's pretty straightforward. It is pretty much the only way to use the KISS method. Again, the KISS method, keep it super simple. And price action is just that. You don't have to wait for any holy grail indicators or these crossover strategies. You can trade in real time. And that brings us up to our last point before we start to look at some uh to before we start to look at the charts the main reason price action is the best way to trade it's just straightforward price is either making higher highs and higher lows or lower lows and lower highs if it's not then we're most likely in a range and it's time to sit on our hands and wait for price action to start trending again once a trader is able to read that price action he or she will not need to wait for any lagging indicators. You don't have to wait for a crossover. You don't have to wait for the MACD, the RSI, or whatever. You'll be able to read price action live as it's happening and get kind of that real, real-time data kind of processed through your brains instead of having to wait for something to tell you, hey, I should enter here, I should exit here. Because nine times out of ten, when something tells you to enter or exit, it's probably too late. So keep that in mind uh, as we go forward. You will see a few indicators on the charts here in just a second. Those are simply open high-low close indicators. Those are not up for negotiation. That's one of the reasons why I like to use those because the open's the open, the close is the close, the high is the high, and the low is the low. No matter what chart you're looking at, no matter what chart I'm looking at, those are the numbers. Those are the levels. And that's one of the indicators I like to use. The other indicator is simply a EMA. It's a 21 EMA. There's no secret sauce here. It's just one of those things I like to use to kind of remind me what's going on with the trend, and I should follow the overall trend. I personally don't take a lot of signals off of the EMAs, but at times I will. So without further ado, let's take a look at the charts and look at a few examples. 
So let's take a look at that M2K or RTY chart that we showed just a minute ago. Now this is the micro Russell version of the chart that we just looked at. As you can see, we have been moving down for the past few days. Let's just kind of count these out. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Today is the seventh day, and you can see we are down almost 3%. Uh, so it's a nice big drop today. Did get some shorts in here today. Um, but that's not what I want to talk about. Remember, this video is just talking about the basics. There are tons and tons and tons of trade videos on our YouTube website, Facebook, Instagram, walking through trades and signals. So I really just want to kind of walk through how I look at this chart, and then we're going to look at the ES chart as well, and that's going to be a bullish trend. Uh, just so you guys can, guys and gals uh, can get an idea of kind of how uh, you should be looking at the market. First off, the question that I always get, indicators, time frame, stuff like that. These are custom open high low close indicators. Uh, those are what you see here in green, purple, uh, yellow, and red. And then this is simply a uh, 21 EMA in one of the purple colors Ninja Trader offers. Um, and again, this is the 60 minute chart. If you've been watching some of my other videos, you know I'm a big fan of that chart. So let's get down to the price action. So essentially what's been going on here the past uh, week or two, RTY, M2K, they have been moving up and then they start to go sideways a little bit. And one of the things I want to do is I want to look at this on the hard right edge. Uh, no, I do not know um, every single candle. None of this has been kind of prearranged. This is just the first chart that I picked. Uh, and I really want to look at this kind of uh, make it a live example. It is a live example, but kind of a, a real world example as possible because I think there's way too many videos on YouTube going back and telling you, hey, this is your signal. Always take this. I'm sorry, but that's that's incorrect. So this is all about price action structure and all that fun stuff. So essentially we can see for a while price has been moving up and then we start to go sideways. Right here we can see that we have some support right around that 2324 level. Uh, we've tried to break it. This is the third time and we can see if we start to kind of scroll to the right, price does break that. So the first thing that comes to my mind is, hey, we just broke a higher low right here. So now I want to see, is that higher low going to turn into resistance? If it does turn into res resistance, there's a good chance that this trend could possibly continue to move down, or this could be the start of a bearish trend, and it actually was. So we keep moving down, keep moving down, keep moving down, come up here. Look at this. We come up to 2335. We're talking about that 2324 level, so about 10 points away. Um, I don't know about you, but coming 10 points uh close to a level is pretty pretty close to me um, with trading you're never going to get pretty much a spot on level it happens sometimes but it's rare so when we talk about levels we want to talk about that general area direction because we always need to be a little lenient because sometimes we get failed breakouts and that's what this is going to turn into we can see oh we move up a little bit now we make a little bit of a double top again that's getting ahead of ourselves a little bit but essentially we turn this previous area that was support into resistance. That is our basic trend following system right there. So once we turn that into resistance, we test it for pretty much a third time. One, two, three. And then look at this. This higher low then is followed up by a lower low. And then from there, we keep moving down, go sideways a little bit. And then look at this. We see our previous lower low now turns into our current higher low that is a resistance level. No, did this come directly or exactly to that 2284 level? No, it broke it by what, uh, 84, so what, about 5, 10 points right there? But it's that general area. So now we know, hey, we're still running into resistance. We're finding new resistance at a previous support level. So most likely we're going to keep moving down. So we scroll down some more. We kind of go sideways and move down. And then finally we break this support level down here right around 2240. And from there, you can see price has sold out. So now what I'm looking for is we are getting a little bit extended away from our mean here. Let me kind of scroll over a little bit to make it a little bit easier. 
we're getting a little extended away from our mean. And I know some of these topics, they haven't been covered because they're more advanced topics. Again, if you want to kind of learn about these, uh, this is a little bit of a sales pitch. But obviously, sign up for the Gorilla Futures course. We walk through all of this, mean reversions, double tops, double bottoms, all that fun stuff. There's tons of information in there, uh, and we do talk about it in some of the videos on our channel. But we do have a little bit of a mean reversion, and what I'm looking for, either maybe later uh, later this evening, tomorrow, the following days, I want to see are we going to run into resistance right around this 2240 level. Now price might come up here to maybe 2250 or 60, but I'm looking for a resistance level, and then I can get short from that resistance level. So now that we kind of have an idea of how to look at this structure, this is a bearish structure, let's go back and cherry pick, and I'm going to say cherry pick, because that's essentially what this is. We kind of walked through it on the hard right edge, now let's go back, see if we can cherry pick some trades that make sense. So we scroll back here to the left a little bit, and again, this is the hourly chart, uh, there could potentially be a lot more signals on a lower time frame. Um, really, it's just one of those things you need to match your trading style with a time frame. For the moment, I've been a big fan of the 60 minute chart, so we're going to look at some 60 minute trades right here. So, price starts to move down. Really, don't see anything until we get, excuse me, right here. This is a nice double top with a two candle rejection, and you can see we sell off, then we come back up. Another nice two candle, nice big sell off. Now we come in here, we get a little bit of a three point turn. Gorilla Futures members, you know what I'm talking about. One up, one consolidate, one down. And then we come over here and we get an even better three point turn. One up, one consolidate, one down. I really like to see that engulfing candle as kind of that, that third candle or that third leg of that setup. And then we get a nice big move down. We get a nice two candle here on the New York Open today on, what's today, the 23rd, and then from there we essentially sold off. So these are very straightforward signals and entries, and what you see here in just a moment when we switch over to our bullish trades, we use these same signals and entries, obviously just flipped around for bullish signals. So this was our bearish trend, this is the micro Russell, exactly the same as RTY, the uh, the E-mini Russell, and now let's look at our daily chart on the ES. The reason why I'm looking at the daily chart, I just want to show a nice stable trend uh, so we can get some ideas. And then again, these EMAs, nothing secretive here. Um, I simply use them to kind of show what the overall trend is doing. Down here we have a 200 daily, we have a 60, and then we have a 21. You can see all the indicators that I have on my chart up here as well. Um, so I hope that makes sense. But indicators aren't kind of the name of the game. Uh, today it is all about um, price action. So what is this chart telling us price action wise? Let's go back to, let's go back right here to 9 to 2020. So right here, Obviously, we run into resistance, we come back down, we make this nice double bottom pattern. Well, it is funny that we talked about signals just a moment ago. Notice how in the previous chart, we had a nice three candle, one down, one consolidate, one up. Look at that. We get another one here on the daily chart, but it is a bullish signal. The exact same signal just flipped on its head. Great long entry right there. And then if I'm not mistaken, we can line that up with a previous resistance level. We ran into resistance at 3119 uh, in the middle of 2020. And it, look, that old resistance turns into new support. Same thing. Up here, we run into new, re uh, we run into old resistance. We can't break up above, but we come back down here and run right back into old support. Same thing. Again, we have another three point. One down, one consolidate, one up. Nice trade. And then from there, we get these little support levels, these little pullbacks, all the way up. And then if we keep scrolling to the right, we can see we get a nice, almost a textbook two candle um, signal right here. One down, and then one right back up. It's almost an engulfing signal, but look where the lower low is. Excuse me, look where that lower wick is. Lines up with this resistance level here that is pretty close to this resistance level that held us held us down for pretty much let's see nine one two so what uh two th two months 
we found resistance at 64 and then a few months later we find support right around that uh, 640 level as well so again we're talking about that general area and we can see that as price moved up we found support right around this 58 level one time two time three time and then we're continuing to stair step our way up so that is pretty much our basic trend following price action system um, you can also see we got another nice big two candle right here one down and then one up this one again is almost an engulfing candle uh, but it closes just under the high of that previous candle so we can't call that an engulfing but it is pretty darn close and these signals again you can use them on bullish entries you can use them on bearish entries you can sometimes use them in ranging markets uh, these signals are good for pretty much all time frames um, all signals all markets you just have to pair them up with the proper market structure and you're good to go so that wraps it up for our three-part series on kind of what is futures the basics to futures and i really hope you did get some help out of this and i really hope it does resonate with you as always if you have any questions comment down below reach out via email really think about becoming a gorilla futures member if you really want to learn all the specifics on how we use these signals how we look at market structure rules for entry um, and tons and tons and tons of other information as always thanks for watching be sure to watch all of our trade videos if you want to see these systems in practice and if you do want us to do another kind of in-depth series on maybe uh, price action itself or maybe the signals itself comment down below as well thanks again for watching please hit that like and subscribe button it really does mean a lot good luck